So we're in um, Accra Market and you can see there's a lot of these um, bleaching products being displayed. If you look at Kara White, she is actually super, super white. In parts of West Africa, skin bleaching is big business. And it's big across Asia, the Caribbean, the Middle East, and other parts of Africa too. By 2018, the global skin lightening industry will be worth almost $20 billion. But here in Ghana, there's a new generation that's pushing back. They're spreading awareness about the dangers of skin whitening, and they're fighting back against the social pressure to bleach. My name is Comfort Arthur. I used to skin bleach, but now I campaign against it. I am a filmmaker and an animator. When I was growing up, I hated my skin complexion. I hated being dark. That's why I did Black Barbie, because I believe as a filmmaker, you have a responsibility in terms of what you show. When I was 23, I stood in front of my local cosmetic counter. This was the first time I had my first bleach and cream encounter. Will this work? I asked the Asian assistant. Of course, it will rid your skin of its black existence. People will go and look at my two sisters and say, oh, they're so beautiful. And then that made me feel like, mm, maybe being dark isn't actually beautiful. Going out, you see young guys liking light girls, choosing lighter girls over you, and then you feel like, no, you are the problem. Society constantly bombarding us with images of light girls versus darker girls. When I first got that product and I opened it, I was like, yes, I'm gonna get light. Yes, I'm gonna be like my sister and my mom. Ghana made headlines in 2016 when it banned skin bleaching products with hydroquinone, which is a potentially dangerous chemical. Hydroquinone was supposed to be off the shelves by the end of 2016, but more than three months later, we still found it for sale at the market. We reached out to Ghana's Food and Drugs Authority to find out why these products are still for sale, but we haven't heard back. So this is the product I use called Skin Light. It's this white one with the orange when I was young, when I was 23. Well, here in Africa, there's a saying that goes that when you're going to church and you see a white man on the way, you better go back home because you've seen God. Shika Obeng Kamara directs the FC Skin and Beauty Clinic in Accra. She focuses on skin repair, and she's also a molecular biologist. In Ghana, it's a popular saying. So on church day, if you see a white person, you've seen God. That is the life of the, how much people want to be fair. That's how much people give lighter skin people or Caucasians that respect. So people also want to be as close to white as possible, and bleaching is the sure ticket to being white. Sheikah's clients often don't even know what they've been putting on their skin. That's because a lot of these products are mixed at home, and then they're sold through social media or under the counter. Apart from hydroquinin, you will find that other people use things like cement water, cement for building. People have also used hair relaxers. So you find that the clients will come, and then um, when you during the consultation, you'll find that they're using all sorts of things to, to lighten their skin, but it's actually bleaching. So we've been walking around Accra just to see some of the um, products that are being displayed on billboards. And as we can see over here, this is Bioskin, which actually doesn't have the um, illegal um, chemical hydroquin in it, which is actually good, but still, it's promoting this idea of lightening your skin, which, you know, to me is a bit of an issue because as much as it doesn't have this, um, the illegal chemical, but what is it saying to a young girl, young dark skinned girl that, oh, you must be lighter, or you must um, use this product so you can look light. So even though it doesn't have it, it's still trying to promote this idea of um, being the lighter is better. As you can see, the model over there is a light beautiful model. Comfort started bleaching because of social pressure, but that's also why she stopped. It got to the point when I was getting lighter and lighter. I was actually happy. I was like, hey, I'm getting light, I'm getting light. But 
the moment my friend pointed it out to me that you know you're you're, you're getting light, you ain't that you weren't that light before. That's when I was like, ugh. I, I felt a little ashamed. Eventually, I learned to you know it took me a while. It took me a while to actually love the skin that I am in.